it looks like it will be King's Row, actually. So, this is probably going to be another quick start to the match. We're just waiting for substitutes right now. And, Damon College, again, it's a little bit difficult to go from a control point map to a hybrid map and just say, hey, this is what you should do to change to do better. Because the playstyle is so much different for both of them. But it looks like Verks has been on this junk rat a lot. I think it'll have a little bit more of an... I think it'll have a little bit of an easier time here on King's Row than it did on Lingjong Tower, but... Just because of the playstyle. But I... If that's what he plays, if that's the only thing he's playing, I don't know if that's necessarily a decent way, especially if he's going to do it, do what he's showing right here, which is play this on defense. And again, this looks kind of like almost the... I mean, this is almost the meta, so the only difference we had from the old meta for here, which was Sigma Orisa... Reaper May or Reaper someone. Reaper Doomfist or Reaper May most most often. And then Mora and another support or But the only difference is the Mercy, which we normally didn't see, and the Junkrat. The Liberty coming out, tried and true. Ballistica's on the Zarya actually, and Fractal's on this Widowmaker. Going to be looking for a pick. Does not get one. And last time I said he was going to change off. He did not. And he got a pick up immediately. So we're going to take a look again. Does not change off. And doesn't get a pick. But Swept Quill. Taking down more. One for, a pick for Prez is actually Fire Strikes. And he's on point. Already almost falling. But an excellent job from Blink keeping him alive. And Ballistica as well staying alive. And that'll be Liberty. Taking the point almost immediately. It's just Vrix on this Junkrat. And he will attempt to stall the point as long as he can, but he doesn't actually touch it at all. It just dies in the air. And we'll see Ballista and Pig for Prez pushing forward like they do. They'll actually get... I believe it was a mine or something. I heard the elimination noise. Both coalescence, no coalescence coming out from Liberty, and it's the beam from Ballista that I thought was coalescence because he's so charged at 99. And he'll take down the Mora as well. Nowhere to run from there. Actually, won't kill the Mora immediately. We'll try to stall him out. This is going to be a huge stagger. It actually. Good job from Sergeant Lexi to get away. And. We'll see if he does manage to eventually make it back to his team. He won't. That's going to be a huge stagger that gives Liberty just so much more room to get back to the rest of... Back to the cart. But Swept Quill... Melk gets a little bit too aggressive. And Swept Quill will take him. Meanwhile, Crouching Tiger hitting Reinhardt. He has a Shatter and nobody knows it. Shatter down. That's huge. Doesn't get the Junk Rat who has the Rip Tire. So it's a little bit... Riptire's still there too. Does finally fall. So it was a little bit less aggressive than Liberty probably would have liked it. Good job from Vrix using that Riptire to try to stop the aggressiveness. And it did. But, again, with so many members of Damon College falling, Liberty just going to push on and keep getting these kills. Pig for Prez, so aggressive. And we'll see Fractal as well. Jumping up to get some more headshots, maybe. Vrx does get picked for Prez, so the Christian's going to stop a little bit. Maybe. Ballista is going to jump into their spawn. He's actually going to take this out this Arisa. And that's another stagger right at your spawn door. You should have gone back earlier, actually, because you don't really get that huge advantage for having your spawn right there if you keep losing people at it. And Fractal has the ult up, just headshots, but the Sigma, due to the AoE damage, is making it a little bit harder for Fractal to actually do stuff. We'll see the Amplification Matrix coming out from this Baptiste, but Lexi just falls immediately. 
The Mercy shattered in spawn and dies in mid healing. Pay for Prez, no mercy for the Mercy. Just keeping him out of this fight. And it'll be Liberty capping with 4 minutes and 29 seconds left on the clock. So this is something that happens a lot. Pig for Prez, such an aggressive Reinhardt, continuing to do what he does, and that's making teams never have a chance to get together. Something Liberty actually thrives at is making that sure that teams, once Liberty gets a point, the teams don't have a chance to get together and kind of group up and get a hold of themselves. It's hard to say, okay, Let's take a chill break. Let's take a second and figure out what we're doing next. When you don't even have that second to take. As Liberty just pushes into your entire team. As these two tanks, Bliska and Pig from Prez. And Jude's when he's on the tank as well. Just push into your entire team. So we'll actually see again. Liberty probably running. This is actually an interesting way to do it. So Fractal's on the Sombra. Going to hopefully come in and see what this team has a little bit. No, they are just going to decide to run with this. That would have been interesting. Fact, they'll go into the door to see what Damon Universe, Damon College was running, and he actually is going to be doing just that. But Liberty decides to stay on this. The Zarya Reinhardt that was so lethal last round, and Melk on this Hanzo, which he has been kind of known for. He's going to try to make sure that there's no snipers that can kind of contest right away. No snipers though, it's Verks on that Junkrat again. And again, the damage coming in. Melk gets a kill. Going through the room. <laughs> there's a Reinhardt just crossing across and Damon College, you're stuck in here with us. See Liberty, and here we go. Here's the part. Pig for Prez, now up in your spawn door, making sure you don't have that moment to just get back to just being able to sit with your team for a second. Liberty does not give you a single second. And Verks again falling. That's the go sign. Pig for Prez shatters, and that's damage, baby. Again, the Roadhog. Using that canister just to try to get the damn damage reduction. And unable to even live with that. As Verse on this junk rat attempting to do something to start this fight off. He's staying back in the spawn, so he's not gonna Unless he gets headshot by the Hunter, he's not gonna get killed, and he does get blinked with the random grenade spam. And Corey's will follow that up on a kill for Prick Prez. So Damon finally breaking this hold. But the AMP and the Graviton Surge will be huge. Ballistica 6k! Oh my! Ballistica with a 6k wipes the entirety of Damon College. And that's going to be Liberty back to where they were. Now you're back to the same issue you were. You have to get your ults online. You're... You almost got your two tank ults plus your sound barrier. Sound barrier is used to help keep the tanks alive as they're hacked. Clark's so low though. Has to have the immortality field keep them alive, but it's gone now. So unable to use that anymore. And P for Prez will just jump in and sweep that. The amplification matrix. But Liberty will just decide that to, to not play around it. They're not going to play where you can shoot through it at all. So it's basically kind of useless there. And Liberty just... Again, pushing in, never giving Damon College a chance to get comfortable and have a chance to do anything. Another grab for Ballistica. And Damon College is kind of stuck. Playing around their spawn door. Hack. It's on to four. I mean, it's on to three. 
Corey is, will use the whole hog, but it will actually get swept, so it's unable to do much. It does get picked for Prez a little bit low, and Fractal takes a shot, making him a little low as well. Here's the Rip Tire. This has got to open up something huge. It does. It gets a 2k. And that'll be Verks bringing his team back into it. Now you need to push because you know that Zarya doesn't have grab. You actually have the chance to push without just com getting completely stop stopped here. And David College will take this opportunity to push as Ballistica trying to survive with his charge. And it looks like he might. Varric's going out. He'll actually die. And Ballistica importantly keeps his charge. He's at 85 charge still. Going to be pushing it. Another Graviton just straight up kills Isaka on that Lucio. And Damon College not even going to be able to cap this point as Ballistica's in a 25 kill streak. And I don't think he's died on this Zarya he pushed on this Zarya defense yet. Liberty University take it 2 to 0. Oh my, Ballistica, just a 6k. A six man Graviton. And that's the aggressive nature of Liberty University right there in a nutshell. Wow. <laughs> So, again, the way right now to stop, to stop this Liberty team is you can't let them get this aggressive on you. That's what kind of is the downfall of most of these teams is lit. Liberty gets aggressive and it just looks like an absolute roll. Another thing is you kind of showed your hand after the first match. Now, I understand having a character that you stay, that you play consistently. Like Bliska, kind of known for that wrecking ball. But you can't just have this whole situation as it has been. So...